morning and welcome back to bath so this morning we have woken up bright and early i've got ready as you can see and we're going to go out and shoot some pictures because yesterday we had a little wander around kind of the main square a couple of the little cobbled streets and i realized how many gorgeous places there is to shoot photographs in bath so we don't want to miss out on the opportunity so we've got really early got ready i've got a couple of outfits that i'd really like to shoot for instagram and for my blog so we're going to go and do that now get that done and out of the way and then we can enjoy the rest of the day so we've got a lunch booking at about one o'clock today i think we're going to a really nice indian called the mint room and then we are meeting some friends in the afternoon i'm going to find somewhere for dinner later so really nice relaxed chill day i'm excited to explore the streets of bath and find some cool places for pictures and obviously i'll be bringing you all along with me so i've gone for a bit of a different look for this morning's photo shoot we've got a couple of different outfits but the first one is this beret a top that says friday on it even though it's not friday anymore and then a skirt and boots i'm sure i'll show you all of it properly when we're out and about oh this isn't very good lighting but yes that's the general gist of it and i'm really looking forward to having a little wonder although hopefully i won't twist my ankle in these boots because i'm really not very good at walking in heels but yeah i'll get my coat on and we'll head on out so we've just taken a couple of pictures and obviously we needed a instagram prop so we went into a fudge shop and they have the most amazing candy apples with marshmallows chocolate caramel and fudge on and david's just taken a bite i obviously can't have any but is it nice it's a big bite <laughs> mm, i wish i could have some and it's a granny smith apple as well which is even better don't know about you but i'm a big fan of granny smith so we're in the second outfit of the day we're just walking around where the Roman baths are and we've just stumbled across a giant inflatable chicken and a giant inflatable oh, a pig and a cow. So, which is very random. Stepping out, it's Friday night, how I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle and my friends are on the way. You got that good, good We've eaten so much food and now we're just spending the afternoon taking pictures. Our friends are here so we're just enjoying spending time with them. I haven't really been able to capture much footage if I'm totally honest because it's been rainy and drab and getting my camera out would mean that I would get my camera all wet and broken. So I'm probably going to merge this vlog and tomorrow's vlog into one so that it's a bit more meaty and there's a bit more to watch and it's not just kind of a nine minute thing of me eating lots of food so we are planning to do something this evening we're just outside bath cathedral i think we're going to do the roman baths tomorrow when we have a bit more time but just enjoying being in such a beautiful city we went to the mint rooms earlier which i think i mentioned and had the best indian it's more like a fine dining indian and it was so so nice but now we're just standing outside a fudge shop they're offering free fudge so we're gonna have a little look in there look at that if you found fudge that smooth so good is it good Oh what one is it? That's the vanilla coconut. You want to try vanilla, it? Yeah, I'll try a bit. Oh well, you know, right? This is amazing. We make everything on the table, and nothing's changed. 
This is about the 1830s. So there's two other dairy free ones you're welcome to try. Go on, give it a go, sir. Dude, uh, phone number on there. You call me, you give me two days' notice, I'll make you whatever vegan fudge you want. And the place is called? Fudge Kitchen. Fudge Kitchen and Bath. There you go. That's me. Cheers, mate. So this place does the vegan fudge, so we've just bought some. We've bought some of the icy vanilla coconut. It is incredible. It's made with coconut milk and sugar, and it tastes amazing. So slightly dangerous that we bought a slice. because they've got quite a lot of new vegan options on their menu. So we're going to try a couple of those. I love Yo Sushi, so really can't wait to see what these are like. In my life, you got that so it's about half past nine now. We are all home. We've had a lovely evening. We went to a bar just above the station called Grey's. It was really, really nice. We had a couple of drinks and I also ate some of the fudge. I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, but they did three different vegan fudges. They did a vanilla and coconut one, which was the one that we got. They did a chocolate one, and I think they did a walnut one as well, but we didn't try that. And so we ate some of that this evening. We just had the loveliest evening. I haven't been able to film an awful lot because it's just been so, so rainy. But hopefully you've got a glimpse of a little bit of our day. Tomorrow will hopefully be better because the weather forecast is saying it's sunny. So depending on how much footage I have, I'm not sure whether this footage will be merged with tomorrow's, but you will find out anyway. So thank you very much for watching today's little journey around Bath with me. Tomorrow we will hopefully be exploring more. We're going to try and go to the Roman Baths. So obviously I will be bringing you all along with me for that. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning and welcome back to Bath. So we've just got all packed up this morning, ready to check out of our apartment and we are planning our itinerary for the day. So I think we're gonna head to the Roman baths first because that is high on the agenda, something we really, really want to do. And then we'll probably find somewhere nice for lunch. And we also want to see the Royal Crescent and there's also a bridge, which I've forgotten the name of, in Bath that overlooks like a beautiful um, set of archways. I don't know what it's called. I will find out and link it in the, or leave it in the description box, but it's a really kind of iconic place in Bath. So we're just gonna enjoy our last day in the city. It's actually a really tiny place. You can kind of walk around it in half an hour or less. So there's lots to explore, but luckily it's all within a very close proximity. So you can kind of get a lot done in a day. So we're just gonna check out put our stuff in the car and then head on out. I am wearing, so I'm wearing a jumpsuit from Missy Empire, popped a belt over the top and then this coat is also Missy Empire. It's the coziest, warmest, fluffiest coat ever. It's just a really nice chilled casual outfit that will hopefully keep me nice and warm because it is very, very cold in Bath today. These tie sleeves as well. I like how you can kind of make it a halter neck if you want to, or just tie it up there. So, yeah, I really like my outfit today. I want to spend some time back with you. Oh, I got this good old time. So, what do so, these are all teapots, just in varying shapes and designs. And there's even over here a bath teapot. Yeah. and a toilet teapot and a sink teapot big toilet and a little toilet and then down here is a policeman teapot toaster teapots never seen so many teapots all in one place
to the Roman Baths, which is absolutely incredible. I've been here a couple of times before, but it still just doesn't get old. Looking at these amazing, well, the amazing architecture, how incredible it is to think that the Romans obviously discovered the hot spring and built this entire place based upon that and being able to have one giant big hot bath. I wish I had one of these in my house, to be honest and it's such a beautiful, incredible place. I'm not like a massive history buff, but I am really interested in like the Roman era, and so places like this just fascinate me so much. I would definitely recommend coming here. Even if you're not interested in history, I just think it's amazing to learn more about the Romans, how they built this place, why they built this place, and why there is a hot spring here, so definitely worth a visit there's lots of really great little um, kind of activities for kids so it's great for families as well as couples and friends so I would highly recommend a visit I think we're gonna have a little bit of a wander around because there's a few other indoor kind of um, arch what's the word artifacts because there's a few little indoor artifacts to look at and learn about as well and then we're gonna head somewhere for lunch because as usual I'm hungry and so is David so I'm gonna find somewhere nice for lunch although you've had a bacon butty no what did you have bacon cheese and tomato sandwich I believe which looked amazing and somebody commented on my Instagram saying that there's a place for vegan gelato gelato, gelato. vegan ice cream so there's a place for vegan fudge which I vlogged yesterday which is the fudge kitchen they do three different types of fudge so it's very very good for dairy free and vegans in Bath really really impressed but anyway we'll enjoy the rest of the Roman baths and then it's very pretty isn't it yeah it's really really pretty very kind of peaceful as well and serene and I think there's guided tours every hour so you can if you don't want to listen to the audio guide which you get with your entry fee then you can kind of listen to those as well and there's two ladies who I filmed over there who were talking all about Roman makeup and they used to use lead but found that that was uh, not very good for your skin funnily enough so they use chalk and um, there's an amazing I did film it but there's an amazing piece of equipment that they use to put eyeliner on and I almost think it's better than the way that we put eyeliner on so I'm tempted to uh, go and ask if they sell them in the shop but yeah we will have a little wander around here and then find somewhere nice for lunch it's and this is so so warm it's such a fluffy nice warm cozy coat which is good because it is quite chilly the wind is a little bit bitter so down here is the sacred spring where the romans used to make offerings believing that the gods would favor them if they did so we are gonna throw some money in i'll try and capture it i'm going for that center are you okay ready ready yeah so Ooh. Wait, let me film you throw it. Hold on. Did you get that? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I got you out of camera because I was focusing on your hand and then your hand moved. What did you wish for? I can't tell you that. It wouldn't be a wish otherwise, would it? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. It's still a wish. That's exactly how it works. This might not come true. I see it on light now because it's lit up. Ready? So I'm going to make a wish, which yeah. I'm going to tell you about. Straight in the centre. Uh -oh. not, it's not a game, it's about making a, a sacred just offering. Make a sacred wish. I also got, a, got it in the centre. What, right in the little hole? Yeah, in the centre. Four times in a row now. I'll probably miss it now you said that. Oh, I did as well. <laughs> Tell you right now, cuz we've 
come to a place called Dome Lunch, which is in the corridor. And the reason I wanted to come here was because they not only do vegan cheese, but they do so many different types of pizza-based dough. So if you're gluten-free or you fancy trying something a bit different, like one of the doughs is Venus black rice dough, which sounds very interesting. So you can really get experimental with your pizza. And they've got some really, really nice sounding ones. So I am very excited for a huge doughy pizza with vegan cheese, which is such a treat. So this is my pizza. I got the marinara with vegan cheese and grilled peppers, and it looks amazing. And this is David's pizza. He's got four different toppings, so it's in a star shape, which looks lovely. Are you going to tuck in? loveliest weekend I am all snuggled in my dressing gown just about to take my makeup off but I wanted to round the vlog up and fill you in on everything that I didn't film so I think the last thing you saw was when we were having lunch at Doe the food was incredible as I'm sure you saw they had vegan cheese they had so many different bases gluten-free ones they had multi-grain ones black rice ones and turmeric bases so it's a really cool little pizza place if you fancy something different not just your average margarita so that was very very nice then we just had a little wander around bath and it got a bit cold and a bit chilly so we went back to the car checked out properly of our parking space and then we drove to the royal crescent which i'm sure you will have seen on instagram it's a beautiful crescent funnily enough of houses um really really gorgeous like georgian townhouses people actually live in them which is quite nice because normally really fancy posh houses especially the ones in london are either offices hotels or people don't generally live in them because they're too expensive so it was really nice that they were people's houses even though we were taking loads of pictures in front of them but it was nice to see that and then we drove home so we've had just the loveliest weekend thank you to Vauxhall who gave us the Mocha X for the weekend it was such a lovely car to drive so so much space which is handy for me because I always carry about 10 coats everywhere I go with me because none of my coats seem to be warm enough sometimes i've taken to wearing two so it was really really nice to have lots of space it's really high up on the road as well so it's great for long journeys and adventuring and exploring and i think i got a few shots of us driving around bath as well in the Vauxhall. so i'm sure you will have seen it on the go and in action but yeah we've had just the nicest weekend it's been really nice to spend some time together we saw our friends yesterday i can't ha can't remember how much i recorded um of them bath is also such a small city so it's a lovely place for a city break because you don't feel like you have so much to see and so much walking to do it was really not great weather this weekend which is why i didn't get my camera out as much as i hoped i would but i didn't want to break it because i have in the past broken it by getting out when it's raining and it managed to fill up with water and ruin the lens so I didn't want to risk it but hopefully I've captured enough so that you have kind of come along with us and enjoyed the weekend there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram because we took a ton of pictures so if you're not following me already I am at Scarlet London on Instagram but I will pop a link down below anyway so yes, thank you so much for coming along with me. The next couple of vlogs that you see, next vlogs and videos, will be um, London Fashion Week, because that's next week. What else are we doing? Um, I've got a couple of lunches with other bloggers, events. I've got a really swanky dinner next week. So there will be lots more from me. And then 
in a couple of weeks time i'm actually going on a yoga retreat which i can't wait for the whole trip will be focusing on well-being mindfulness healthy eating nutrition and of course yoga so i am so excited for that really don't know what to expect but the next couple of weeks will be an adventure so i hope you want to come along with me still and enjoy the journey with me i love sharing it with you guys so anyway i'm going to stop waffling now thank you so so much for watching and i will see you again very very soon